Yo, what's up, y'all? I'm breaking down orchestral loop, um, something section eight, Chi Chi, or um, yeah, somebody for the four PF little baby, uh, camp two, and this is what it sounds like. Okay, um, so this might also be a different title for the tutorial because I wasn't quite sure what the vibe was actually, you know, supposed to be. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna break it down anyways. Um, I started off with uh, Una Corda out of contact. I went with the Una Corda Felt and the Felt Reversed Echoes preset. And um, this is what the melody sounds like. Now, uh, I'm just gonna let you listen to it first. Okay, um, some quick thing to keep in mind right here. I normally paint my melodies in by myself. Uh, this time I used Scalar, which is a plugin um, by, uh, oh man, I'm not quite sure at the moment. Uh, I think it's by Plugin Boutique actually. Um, that's where I bought it. Uh, and yeah, so go ahead, check that out. It's a great plugin for, um, you know, finding chords and uh, it performs chords as well. And uh, that's actually a preset that I used out of Scalar. And I just went with the inharmonic minor scale and um, just laid down these patterns and then dragged them into uh, the contact that I pulled up or, you know, the contact instance that I had pulled up. And that's what the melody came out as, or, you know, at least close to that. And I kind of switched up a couple notes, but uh, yeah, so that's the main melody. Not that much to say to it, because like I said, it's not made by me directly. Um, and uh, yeah. But great plugin to go for that. Next up, we have the um, well, Orchestral Essentials 2, which is um, a great library for you know obviously orchestral stuff. Uh, but they also have some great um, multi-instrument uh, shit, and that's actually what this is. There's a couple instruments layered on top of each other, and uh, this preset is called "It's Is This the End?" And um, this is what that sounds like. And all I do is follow the root notes. Um, so yeah. Next up, we have one of my favorite violin sounds. It's the Gypsy Romantic violin um, out of Balkan Ethnic Orchestra. This is what it sounds like. Okay. Um, next up, we have a Molly Flux instance, which um, is just an ARP playing. And um, this is what that sounds like. So you can obviously tell that it's just uh, the same melody over and over again. <laughs> um, pretty simple, but uh, like I said, if you have arping sounds or a melody that's already laid down by Scalar, or um, you can obviously just do that yourself and uh, draw down short notes and do the same thing. Um, but like I said, this is all there is to the melodies. Now, if we're talking effects, I'm just gonna go through these um, because there isn't too much on here. On the first one, um, that's the piano, there's nothing on there. Um, that was just a reversed echo sound that sounded great already. And on the second one, um, which is this uh, choir multi preset uh, thing out of Orchestral Essentials, nothing on here as well. Um, third one, also nothing. And then um, on the fourth, there should be some effects. Um, hold up a second. Can just go through that yep it's right here um it's on the fifth uh mixer channel that's why i kind of didn't find it i don't know why i did that whatever there's a valhalla space modulator on here I went with the preset swirly res um and that's actually a free um effects plugin so go ahead and get that it's it has a bunch of effects and it's from valhalla uh, same for the valhalla frequency echo i went uh, just with the normal thing i'm not even quite sure if it has presets um then the valhalla supermassive also has a bunch of presets also free and i went with the 60 percent of infinity and then just uh, played with the warp and the delay sound at the mix obviously um now all I did after that is cut out uh, some frequencies that were clashing and like I said, this is the violin that we're talking about, so it sounds like this. Hold up. Now 
Now without effects, it would sound like this. Which, don't get me wrong, sounds right already, but um, I kind of fucked with a more reverby sound in this case. And um, yeah, all I did afterwards is uh, lay out these stems at the end. That's what I always do. And in order to do that, you just uh, go over to your, I'm um, not quite sure what this is called, but whatever you go over here and then just mark the instances that you want to render out. In this case, I want to render out all the contact instances. So I just go for a uh, click on the next one, um, which is control click. Same for these, control click, control click. Um, or you can just uh, choose all of them or, you know, just a couple then do shift click and then just drag it in um, so yeah that's that uh, then I just laid them out um, as you can see there's nothing special to it in any way um, there's a Jeep clip on my master I always have that one on there uh, free clipping plugin um, yeah just uh, instead of the soft clipper and that's what I always do and I always cut out um, every frequency below 25 Hertz um, just because the, you can't really can really take that in um, as far as I'm aware but uh, yeah don't take it from me uh, necessarily um, because I'm not uh, a mixing professional or, or anything like that I, I think I heard it from a tutorial from Cash Gang um, or Lecto um, and yeah so uh, that's where I got that from and I made a beat with this and we're gonna break down the beat as well um, see you all around in a second Okay, we're back in another instance of FL Studio. This time I'm gonna make a beat from scratch uh, because a couple of y'all um, requested that, as far as I'm aware at least. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna lay down a pattern. That's uh, something I always do. Um, I just lay down patterns up to the point where the melody, um, you know, ends and the stems start. So that's what I did here. Um, I think I forgot one stem in this case, but I'm not gonna use the stems because I made the melody myself. So I obviously know which parts I wanna use and which ones not. Um, so yeah, if there's a bass in here, I most of the time just take the first pattern out and let the 808 hit from the parts where there's no bass, but there shouldn't be any bass in here. So um, yeah, this should work. Um, I'm now gonna go into my uh, go-to drum kit. Those aren't drum sounds that I made, uh, just some random ones, but I'm just gonna pull them up. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, actually turn those um, elements to the master rack and I'm gonna show you all how this is possible you just mark and drag up to the point where you want to you know choose your instances and then you just go up to the master track and uh, choose the, the channel you want to go from in my case we're gonna go from two and then just go for channel routing and route select the channel starting from this track and now you have the spins 808 clap whatever instances you choose to have there um, you have those in your master and they're also named correctly um, now i'm gonna delete contact right here we won't need that and i'm gonna just dedicate track one from the master track for the melody now what we're gonna do for the melody is just gonna listen to it and then turn it down a little Okay, um, so what I did right here is just uh, having it peaked at 12 decibel. I think it's minus 12 actually. Um, minus 12 decibel. Um, I think I heard that from Palace or someone out of 808 Mafia uh, that you shouldn't necessarily go higher than that with your melody um, just because it might clip with the drums and the whole mix. Um, yeah, next up we're just gonna lay down an 808 pattern and um, I'm gonna start off by obviously shortening the 808 up then do cut itself and then I'm just gonna start laying it down. Okay, so I'm gonna start off laying notes down in a higher octave just to get the 808 in key, in the right key.
Okay, so as you can as y'all can hear, um, I laid down a really simple pattern. I'm actually not gonna switch it up a lot. Just on the second half, um, I'm gonna have one more node in between, and uh, yeah, I just use the cut tool to you know go ahead and cut these nodes up. Um, so that's obviously that's already it for the 808, and um, we're just gonna go for a simple beat here. It's just all about the bounce, and I wanna show y'all. Uh, that you can go for simple standard things just to remember those um, I have a, a preset um, out of my like I said personal drum kit where I can just drag in the midis for the claps the snares the hi-hats whatever so I'm just gonna do that I'm just gonna find a matching um, hi-hat midi pattern and we're gonna listen to it now uh, one quick different or one quick little tip in here um, if you go through midis you can just um, do control click and then it will directly take the midi into your channel rack Okay, so as you can tell, um, I just dragged in a couple midis and um, I played around with it a little. Um, there were just a couple different midis that I wanted to try. And um, this one is just a simple um, hi-hat bounce. Not that much to explain in here, but I'm just gonna uh, break down how I made these little triplet notes. I think that's the most important part. Um, you just go here, mark the note, Alt-U or Alt-A. Um, comes out to the same thing and then you just modulate the timing and fuck with it the way you wanna um, So yeah, that's actually already the whole tutorial and um, this one's some more in-depth one I hope you'll fuck with it and uh, see you on the next one